Hey, how y'all doing out there? Back at you again with another video. Today, I'd like to do just a quick comparison between the Note 9 and the OnePlus 7T Pro. Now, of course, the Note 9 came out in 2018 and the OnePlus 7T Pro came out the end of last year, 2019. So the course is, you know, you're dealing with a newer phone in the OnePlus 7T and a much older phone in the Note 9. But I think they compare well. Now, I just want to give you an idea which one you should pick up as far as, you know, a smartphone. If you're getting ready to think about upgrading and picking up a smartphone, which one do I think you should pick up? And at the end of the video, I'll tell you which one I would pick up one over the other. First, I want to give you a list of reasons why you should pick up the Note 9. You got your always on display, which I love. You got your iris sensor. You can open up the phone with your eyes and you can also use that with Samsung Pay. Now, just real quick back to the always on display. The thing I like about the always on display with Samsung is that it's very interactive. You know, you could control your your your, your media. You can um, you could um, it's very customizable. You can change it, use a picture, use a, a animated video on it. There's so many different ones you could pick and choose from. Samsung makes the best always on display in the business. No question about it. Next thing, you got your finger, your physical fingerprint sensor on the back of the Note 9. Some people prefer their fingerprint sensor on the rear. And this one has that if, you, if you're looking for that. And it's on the back of the phone. Some people like the fingerprint sensor on the front. So it depends on the person. But it has a, fig, a physical fingerprint sensor, not an in-display fingerprint sensor. Next thing, the Note 9 has expandable memory up to 512 gigabytes. Now, for a lot of people that matters, it matters to me because I need extra storage because I store a lot of music, a lot of videos, and a lot of movies on my device. So I need expandable memory. Next thing, the price. Now, the price you're going to get for this Note 9 right now, I've seen it renewed and refurbished under $300. So I'm telling you right now, that's a steal for a 2018 flagship device. That's a steal. So you're going to get a better price for this phone over that phone. I'm going to tell you that right now. Okay. All right. Next thing. Features. Feature for feature, you're going to get way more features with the Note 9. No question about it. No doubt about it. You're going to get tons and tons of features with the Note 9 over the OnePlus 7T Pro. Next thing, on the Note 9, you're getting fast wireless charging. Not just wireless charging, but fast wireless charging. You're not getting any wireless charging on the OnePlus 7T Pro. Next thing, the S Pen. Now, the S Pen is what separates this, the Note 9 from any other phone on the market. Because you could do so many things with the S Pen. And this one has Bluetooth capabilities as well. So you can you can take pictures with it. You can control your media. You can control your videos. You can skip. You can reverse. You can just do so many things with that S Pen. Copy and paste. Sign documents. It's just so many things. Like you could take a, a video, a good 30 to 40 minute video just on the S Pen features alone. So the S Pen is what's going to separate this phone from not just the OnePlus 7T Pro, but from any other phone on the market. Next thing, the LED notification. You have that on the Note 9. You don't have that on the One OnePlus 7T Pro because this has a bezel-less display. So you're going to get that LED notification that a lot of people do like that. Let them know that they're, you know, that they have a message or a call, whatever. They'll see a little red, you know, blinking light flashing. Next thing, you're going to get way more customization on the Note 9, just way more. It's not even close, okay? More customization on the Note 9. Next thing, the Note 9, IP68 water and dust resistance. You're not getting that on the OnePlus 7T Pro. Next thing, Note 9 has a headphone jack. OnePlus 7T Pro does not. I love the headphone jack. Some people are just not willing to give that up, so they'll hold on to their older devices that has a headphone jack, and I don't blame them. That's why I'm holding on to my Note 9, because I want that headphone jack. I just used this phone over the weekend, going to the gym, plugging in my wired headphones. And I loved the sound. I love the convenience. No dongle needed. 
I love that. I, I still don't agree with Samsung and all these other people taking away the option of people using wireless headphones or wired. I like the headphone jack. So I'm going to say it again, and maybe y'all can hashtag down in the comments, Samsung, bring back the headphone jack. Next thing, you got Samsung Pay with the Note 9. You're not going to have that, of course, with the OnePlus you're using Google Pay. Samsung Pay is accepted pretty much everywhere. So that's an advantage for the Note 9. Next, ring, next thing, you got DeX. So you can basically plug this into your computer and you can use your phone as like a laptop. So that's cool. I haven't really used it, but it's there if you if you want to. So I like the fact that it has DeX. With the Note 9 also, next thing you're going to get a brighter display. OnePlus 7T Pro has a nice display, but it's just not that bright, honestly. The Note 9 is actually brighter than the, than the OnePlus 7T Pro. Next thing, with the Note 9, you're going to get better video recording. It's just more stable and it's super, super clear. So you're going to get better video recording with the Note 9. Next thing. The Note 9 still has the heart rate monitor. Now, for some people, it doesn't that don't matter at all. But for me, it matters because I actually use the heart rate monitor. I like it to measure my stress and other things. So I like the heart rate monitor. So you're definitely going to have that on here, and you're not going to have it on the OnePlus 7T Pro. Next thing, you get a set of AKG Tune headphones in the box. I like that. With the OnePlus 7T Pro, you're not getting any headphones at all. Next thing. The Note 9 has dual stereo speakers with Dolby Atmos. I love that. Now, you're also going to get dual stereo speakers with at Dolby Atmos on the OnePlus 7T Pro as well. Okay. And the last thing. Note 9 has a 4,000 milliamp battery. All day battery life. Easy. No problem. Okay. 4,000 milliamps. You're going to get all day battery life easily. All right. So, those are all the reasons why you should consider picking up the Note 9, okay? I'll go over it real quick again. Always on display, iris sensor, physical fingerprint sensor on the back, expandable memory, the price, features, fast wireless charging, the S Pen, the LED notification light, more, custom, more customizable, IP68 water and dust resistance, headphone jack, Samsung Pay, DeX, brighter display, better video recording quality, heart rate monitor, AKG tuned headphones in the box, dual stereo speakers with Dolby Atmos and a 4,000 milliamp battery. And also I like the rear cameras on the Note 9 better than the OnePlus 7T Pro. All right. All right. Now let me give you a list of reasons why you should pick up the OnePlus 7T Pro. You have a bigger display at 6.67 inches. So it's much taller. With the Note 9 is only 6.4 inches. So you're getting a bigger display far as height. The Actually, the Note 9 is a little wider. So you're getting a 6.67 inch display. Next thing, you're getting a bezel-less Quad HD display. Now, I love, absolutely love this display because it has no bezels. You do have the pop-up selfie cam, but you got no bezel. So viewing media content on this phone is unbelievable. It's awesome. I love it. Okay. All right. Next thing. You got your dual stereo speakers. Now these speakers sound good, but they don't get as loud as they should. Now I would say comparing both speakers, they both, they're both similar as far as loudness concerned. One is not really louder than the other. So to me, there's even on that, but it does have stereo speakers, which is good with Dolby Atmos. Next thing, this is definitely an advantage for the OnePlus 70 Pro. You have your ultra wide lens on the rear. Now you can see this has three cameras, this has two, and you got your wide, your telephoto, and your ultra wide. On here, you only got your telephoto, and you got your two time zoom. And you do have wide, but no ultra wide on the Note 9. So those people that love the ultra wide lens and can't do without it, then you want the OnePlus 7T Pro. Next thing, you're going to get longer software updates on the OnePlus 7T Pro. Now, when this phone dropped last year, it already came with Android 10. So you're going to get Android 11, 12, and 13. Now, to some people, that's a big deal and that matters. To me, not the biggest deal. As long as my phone is running smooth and fast and snappy, it, that, that's, that's not a big deal for me. 
And I think for just the average person, I don't think that's going to matter that much because most people I talk to never, ever mention software updates. They just don't. They talk about the camera and they talk about the battery. Other than that, I think for the average person, the, the software updates is not the biggest deal. But for some people, maybe more techie people, that matters. You know, to know your phone is going to get the latest version of Android three years from now, that matters. So that's definitely still an advantage of the OnePlus 7T Pro over the Note 9. Next thing, smoother software experience. Now, you're definitely going to get a smoother software experience on the OnePlus 7T Pro over the Note 9. Now, I'm not saying the Note 9 doesn't have smooth software, but it just don't compare to the smoothness, the buttery, silky smoothness of the OnePlus 7T Pro. That's a fact. All right, next thing. You got your newer process. You got the Snapdragon 855 Plus, which is clearly faster than the 845 Snapdragon chip in the Note 9. So this phone is clearly faster than this phone. No doubt about it. Faster software experience. I just talked about it. This is going to be faster than the Note 9. Now, however, the Note 9 is not slow by any means. It just got updated to Android 10 and One UI 2.0. And I'm telling you, this phone is fast. But this phone is definitely faster. Okay. All right. Next thing. Faster facial unlock. OnePlus 7T Pro definitely has faster facial unlock. No question about it. You got the self up pop up uh, camera and it comes up and goes down almost so fast like you like the basically like the cameras inside the display. That's how fast it's faster than the Note 9 clearly. Now they did improve the speed of the fingerprint sensor on the Note 9 and the facial unlock with that software update that I just got the Android 10 and 1 UI 2.0. But still, this phone has always had the fastest facial unlock in the game for, for years. So between the two, you definitely is going to be fast on a OnePlus 7T Pro. Next thing, in-display fingerprint sensor. Now, this is something that the Note 9 don't have. And I like it, but it's going to depend on the person. And it works really good. Now, I'm sorry I got the thing screen up really loud. I mean, bright, but but you have an in-display fingerprint sensor, and I like that. And some people like that as well. With this one, of course, your fingerprint sensor is on the rear. But for some people, they may rather not like an in-display fingerprint sensor at all. But I'm telling you, this is fast and it's accurate. Okay? Next thing. You got a 4,080 milliamp battery in your OnePlus 7T Pro. Now, that's 80 milliamps more than the Note 9. Now, you may think that's slight and that's not a big deal. However, the next thing is you're going to get way longer battery life on the OnePlus 7T Pro over the Note 9. With this, I'm getting two days of battery life. With this, you can get easily a full day. I'm talking anywhere between 18 to 20 hours of battery life on this device, medium to heavy usage, medium to heavy usage, okay? But the battery life is definitely better on the OnePlus 7T Pro, and the standby time is outstanding on the OnePlus 7T Pro. Next thing, pure stock Android experience with more customization. For those Android purists out there, if you just love pure stock Android, you're going to get a better experience on the OnePlus 7T Pro because it's more stock Android, but it's more customizable than the Google Pixel 4 XL. Okay. Next thing with the OnePlus 7T Pro, you're getting eight, gig, eight gigs of RAM. With the Note 9, you're only getting six gigs of RAM. RAM management is good on both, but you're getting two extra gigs of RAM so you can have more um, apps open in the background. Next thing. OnePlus 7T Pro comes with 256 gigs of internal memory. The Note 9 comes with 128 gigs of internal memory. However, you're not going to get expandable memory in this device. You do get it in this device, but this device has more onboard storage to begin with. Next thing, faster charging speeds when it comes to the battery. With the OnePlus 7T Pro, you're getting 30 watt warp charging. Basically, you can charge this phone from 0 to 70% and 30 minutes and from zero to 100 percent in 70 minutes with this you're talking qualcomm quick charge 2.0 it's going to take you only going to get 38 percent of charge in 30 minutes 
and it's going to take you a hundred an hour and 42 minutes for a full charge so there's no there's, there's not even any comparison at all this phone definitely it charges twice as fast as this one okay so if that matters to you you want to go with the oneplus 70 pro and the last thing you're going to get a clear gel you're going to get a case in the box with this no case in the box with this okay so which phone would i pick now for me i'm going with the note 9 reason being is easy always on display that's something i need i like the fact that it has the iris sensor because i can use samsung pay with it and i like having more than just two biometric ways to open my phone i can open my phone with my fingerprint my face or my eyes i like that okay and i love that iris sensor you have the, um, the expandable memory i need expandable memory the price dirt cheap much cheaper than the oneplus 70 pro this phone six over 600 bucks less than 300 the features i love all the features of the note 9 you're going to get way more features so for me i'm going to have a lot more fun tweaking and changing things with the note 9 the next thing i gotta have wireless charging i love wireless charging it's convenient next thing the s pen gotta have my s pen no doubt about it I like the fact that it is also IP68 one dust resistance. You're not getting that with the OnePlus 70 Pro. With the Note 9, I'm getting a headphone jack. I want my headphone jack, and I'm getting a pair of headphones in the box. Next thing, I love the fact that I can use Samsung Pay. Okay? So, in the stereo speakers. So, that's all. Uh, those are all the reasons why I would pick the Note 9. Now, for those of you that are OnePlus 70 Pro fans, and you just love one. Plus 17 because you feel it's like you're getting longer updates, more support and all that. And all that's good. Don't get me wrong. But you're going to get more phone right here. And this just got updated to Android 10. So you're going to get a lot more phone. You're going to get a lot more bang for your buck with the Note 9. But with the OnePlus 17 Pro, you're getting a bigger display. You're getting a bezel-less display. You're getting stereo speakers. You're getting ultra-wide lens on the camera. You're going to get longer software updates. You're going to get a smoother software experience. You're getting the latest Snapdragon 855. You're getting faster software. You're getting faster facial unlock, in-display fingerprint sensor, longer battery life, and the pure Android stock experience, 8 gigs of RAM, and faster charging speeds on your battery. So I'm going to say this, and I'm finished. You can't go wrong with either device. Both are great devices, but it's going to come down to personal preference. Now, in my experience and how I like to roll with phones and how I like to use phones, I definitely would just go with the Note 9 because I need all that stuff that's in here that this phone lacks. But if it's just all about the software and the battery, then you want to go with the OnePlus 7T Pro. All right. Thanks again for watching, for taking the time. Thank you to all my subscribers. This channel is not possible without you. And I'll check you guys out in the next one. Peace.